If you intend to open up the case of the TP-Link Archer AX3200, know that it can void the warranty even if there are no seals over the screws. Then again, as long as you leave everything intact, it should be fine. So, all we need to do is to remove the four screws from underneath the silicon feet, then, using a prying tool, just move slowly to detach the top part. It's a very simple process which shouldn't damage the plastic case. And it's a very different experience than what I got with Ubiquiti and Asus. After opening the top part, I saw the large heat sink that covers the PCB almost in its entirety, and to remove it, we do need to turn the board upside down. Easier said than done, because we do need to detach each antenna connector and then find a way to turn the board without damaging it, the plastic case and the ports. Move around slowly and it should eventually give in. It's also wise to detach the small board with the LEDs and an antenna to easily maneuver the board afterwards. The bottom side of the board had some aluminum covers and underneath one of them I could see one of the main chipsets. A few seconds later, I finally took the heatsink out and saw a multitude of aluminum covers. After detaching them, I could finally see the rest of the main components. Make sure to pause at any time if you think I'm moving too fast. That's about it for this teardown video, it wasn't very difficult to open up the TP-Link AX3200, but then again TP-Link rarely makes this process complicated. Let me know if you want me to review this router. Thank you for watching and see you next time!